I heard Jeff chose a three. Too light. I heard Teresa preferred a two. <gasps> Better than how Brian said at a nine, you might as well just throw it out. Shh. Here comes Elliot. He chose one. Why bother? Hey, what's going on over here? We're talking toast, Jack. Toast? Toast. So, the numbers that you heard people talking about earlier actually yeah. refer to this industry standard toasting chart. Wait a minute, there's an industry standard toast chart? Yes, and that's exactly how we test our toasters to see how well they toast. What we're really looking for is to make sure that the toaster can toast consistently each time. And also, when you look at these toasts, you can see that there's such a difference in, in how the actual toaster covers this one seems the toast. Even? Right, right. And this one's got more of a stripey pattern to it. So we're wanting a toaster that can really get a full coverage of that toast so that it's perfect every time. Hania says testing works like this. While set to medium, each toaster is judged on how well it makes a batch of toast. Two to four slices, depending on the model. With the best models, results match the evenly brown medium toast on the toast color chart. So in our tests on average toasters, fully toast your toast in about two and a half minutes. Is the more expensive toaster the way to go? Well, in our tests, when we've tested those fancy upscale toasters, some of them only test so-so. Hmm. So when you're looking for a decent toaster, we recommend looking for one with a digital dial and a display, so that way you can get your toast to the same setting each time. Right. You can also try to find ones with a bread lifter that'll push it up a few extra inches, okay. so that way you're not burning burning your fingers on the side of the toaster when you're picking up the bread. That is very helpful. Also, if you love that New York style bagel, you want to look for slots that are extra wide to fit in the entire bagel. Good idea. Also, you want one that has an easily removable crumb tray. If you look at this one right here, so you see all those nasty little crumbs, you can yeah. dump them right out. And that way, when you make another piece of toast, they won't be there to burn. Well, listen, honey, I don't want all this bread to go to waste, so I think I have an idea of what we can do with all this toast. I have a one toast, I have a three toast, I have a five toast. Are you really gonna eat a banana, tomato, and lettuce sandwich? Of course, this is a vegan BLT. It's my favorite. Thank you.